Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. One of the things that new technical divers uh, have to learn how to deal with is uh, the long hose. And so what we're going to be talking about in this video today is how to manage the long hose uh, for uh, transportation. Common methods for stowing the long hose include wrapping it around itself, wrapping the hose around the isolator valve, and using the necklace bungee. So the most common thing that I've seen uh, divers do uh, for uh, transporting their long hoses is to coil up uh, the long hose uh, in some manner like this and then to uh, take the regulator and weave it on the inside of the loop like this and so this provides a uh, reasonably secure uh, temporary uh, reasonably secure way of um, uh, securing the long hose for temporary transportation uh, the one thing that happens with this though is that uh, it will work for vertical storage in a vehicle, uh, but when you're putting it down horizontally, there might be a tendency for uh, the regulator to flop around and perhaps get damaged. And uh, typically, in uh, this type of situation, uh, the necklace is uh, simply draped over the uh, is simply draped over the uh, isolator uh, valve. So this is uh, one of the most common ways that uh, people transport uh, their uh, their long hose. Another common way that people transport their long hose is, again, uh, by coiling it up a few times and uh, by taking it and hanging uh, all the coils over the isolator valve uh, between the regulators. And this, again, keeps the regulators out of the way uh, for transportation. One of the problems with this, though, is if you're going to be carrying your rig that uh, stowing your regulators in this manner uh, may uh, interfere with you carrying the rig uh, from, for example, uh, the water or the boat uh, to the vehicle for transportation. A less common means of uh, storing your long hose for transportation, which allows you to uh, store it either in a horizontal or a vertical position in the bed of a vehicle, uh, and at the same time allowing you to transport it uh, from the boat or the water to the vehicle is uh, by doing something uh, which is a combination of uh, the two that we've seen. So in this case uh, what you would do is you would take your regulator uh, and you would coil it, keep your long hose and coil it, and uh, the idea is to coil it in a number of coils uh, such that uh, the uh, bolt snap is uh, is uh, located very close to the uh, the right post regulator, and then what you do is you take your necklace regulator and you take uh, the bungee, and of course this only works with a bungee setup, not a silicone setup, and you take the bungee from the necklace regulator, and what you do is you use the necklace to wrap around the long hose to secure it and then you secure the end of the bungee around the uh, around the bolt snap. So what this does is it enables you to uh, uh, transport uh, the uh, rig uh, either vertically or horizontally. This cannot go flop the same way it can uh, if you don't have it attached to something. And then at the same time uh, it allows you to relatively easily take your rig and transport it without the regulators interfering with your transport. So in summary, this video has uh, shown you different ways of coiling and stowing your long hose and necklace regulators to prevent damage during transportation from the dive site to your vehicle. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.